Welcome back folks. Today is the day we'll finish up this three-part series and stretch this coyote hide. Uh, before we do, there's two different types of stretchers. There's either a, a wooden one or a wire one. And both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. The wire ones probably dry quicker because the air can circulate a little bit more. They have these hooks to them that you can pull the hide down, you don't have to nail them on or anything like that. But the disadvantage is that they're thin. They're, they're wire, they're maybe quarter inch wire rod. Uh, whereas a wooden one, they're, I imagine they're three quarter inch. And what that does is that makes it, it makes a long haired fur look thicker which makes it look fluffier as well and personally I prefer the wooden ones for long-haired animals like coyotes and fox uh, muskrats and those kind of things skunks and whatever wire stretchers are fine but anyway let's get started here it's this won't take long okay I already have this one all ready to go uh, he's already fleshed out and ready, ready to put on the board. Uh, have to turn him back, flesh side out. Okay, like I said, I like the wooden stretchers for coyotes and fox. Some people don't. They, whichever one you prefer is not a big deal. I think they look a little nicer with the wood. But. That's just personal preference. And putting them on here, you don't want to stretch them real wide. You just want to, to be snug. If the further you stretch them, if you go way out like that, it's going to make him look a little thin on the hair. And that's not what you want. The more fluff you got, the better. So. So make sure you got it square all the way down. Let's see. This one. All right, we got him on the stretcher. Hold the legs down snug. You don't want them to go real tight, but snug. And I like to put, some people use pins, I like nails, so they hold a little bit better when the hide starts to dry, they don't pop out. Uh, I like to put two per leg, make sure everything's square on here, so it's all right in the middle. over, pull it back down here, want them to be as long as possible without over stretching, if I let go that doesn't pull back too far, put another, another nail right here on either side, Do that, He's right square in the middle. Something got a hold of this guy. He's got some scars on him. I'm not sure really what it was, but something kind of chewed on him. Got a hole here that I should stitch up really fast. And that that's not in a bad spot. They don't use much of that up here. But I'll uh, show you how to do that here fast. Okay, when you're sewing up a hole here, you don't want to go from the from the first side this way because you pull hair through with it so what you do is you poke it through from the skin side only poke it through there tie a knot in it dental floss works really well this is uh, what they call artificial sinew which is basically the same thing only whiter I like it because it's brown okay Go through from the skin side. And again, 
from the skin side. Just like that. Which helps if I didn't have buttons on my coat to keep snagging the string. Push the hair back on the right side. This one's a pretty small hole. This one really may not needed to be sewed up, but some of them, like the other two coyotes that were given to me, they were shot and. Uh, they got bigger holes in them. They're going to need to be stitched up. The better you can make these look, the better off you are. So it, it sure doesn't hurt to spend a little extra time with them and make them look good. On a real nice coyote with a lot of hair and, you know, one that I really expect to get top dollar from. A lot of times I'll even sew the leg holes shut just because they, it, it does away with them then. On the first side, they're just one solid piece of hair and the, it gives them a little bit more to work with that way. Okay, when you get down to the last stitch, before you pull the loop tight, go through it a couple of times. And that ties a knot in it. And that's all there is to that. I save toilet paper tubes through the winter months and, save, uh, and use them for this. Um, if you put the you put them into the ear hole and stretch out the ear skin, you put a put a tack right there. And what that does is it keeps the underside from sagging against here so they dry better. Uh, when we go to turn it the other direction, you'll take these out, of course, and they'll look a whole lot nicer if you do this. Just like that. And there's a little bit of meat still on here. I'm probably going to trim this up here real quick while I got it on. Uh, I got a couple of holes in the nose. They didn't do such a great job on this. But... That's all there is to it. Now in a few hours, when the probably four or five hours, when this is no longer sticky and it's still soft enough to turn it, if it's you don't want it too dry because that makes it really hard to turn. But while it's still moist uh, but not sticky, you turn it first side out, and that's really all there is to it. And, uh, here in a couple hours, we'll do that quick, and this will be done and be ready for sale. Back again, this is not sticky anymore all the way around. Uh, look at the base of the ears and things, it's, it's dry. These can come out now. The, the head is starting to dry, so he's ready to turn. So what you do. Pull out the nails first off. And loosen up the stretcher. Okay, now see how it's, see how it sounds crunchy? 
that's because it's starting to dry if you wait too long it gets really hard to turn back right side out so the way I do these just reach down inside kind of roll over the edge reach down inside Grab it by the hair. You want to be kind of gentle doing this. And just kind of slowly work it back so the fur is on the outside again. Okay, turn the nose back in the right way, pull the ears back in, out through the holes again the right way. Then you put him back on the board with the oops, with the fur on the outside this time. centered like so. That looks pretty good. It's all in the middle. And then you take your pins take your pins and you pull the ears up oops, toward the front. Pin them on in there. Dropped one. The kind of brushes I like for this, they're, I think they're a dog comb or uh, maybe it's meant for sheep for 4 H or something. Anyway, these work really well for this. And I just start at the head and brush him out a lot of the, the dry blood and stuff it'll just come right off when you brush him um, it, it really makes them look a lot nicer and it really really should be brushed out good this one doesn't have much in the way of blood on it. There's a little bit right here and right there. If that doesn't brush out when it's completely dry, I'll just take a white, a wet washcloth with some uh, soap on it and dampen that up just a little bit. I don't put enough on that the skin itself gets wet, just the hair, and blow dry it. Alright, so when that's dry, you just slide it back off of there and that's all done. Well, let's see, back here. That's all done, ready for the market. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Good luck trapping.